All right, I'm finally uh, mostly recovered from that uh, dreaded COVID disease. Uh, my whole family got it. Um, so it's time to get back to making videos. Uh, a while back I made a uh, video on uh, the cheapest drones you can make at each manufacturer. And um, those all tend to be pretty much the same. It didn't really showcase the difference between the uh, manufacturers that much. This time I'm making a more standard fighter, um, something that would actually be usable, and trying to showcase like the differences really between the manufacturers. This will be a manufacturer showdown on a, a pretty standard fighter. It's just kind of standardized. They're still pretty much the same, and just showing off like the little differences between each manufacturer. Now the least expensive one this time is the Tayo, which is interesting because with the drones, the Tayo was the most expensive. It is now the least expensive. Um, but there are some differences between them that um, account for sort of the differences in prices. So this isn't like, oh, Tayo is just cheaper and everything else. There are, there are differences that account for all the, the price differences. Um, now for the most part, they're all the same, uh, but they have very different styles. Nothing's very different. They, they have different styles for the each manufacturer. I think the Hope, Hope Deck one really looks like a Hope Deck ship. The Stroud one really looks like a Stroud ship. Deimos one really looks like a Deimos ship, although I could have, I suppose I could have made it more Deimos, but. The Nova is very Nova. Tayo is very Tayo. Um, they all use the exact same weapons. Uh, they all use the exact same shield. They all have same jump range, same 100 mobility, same top speed. They use the same engines. Um, where are they different? Let's see. So the Tayo, Tayo has the lowest cargo and only six crew. Uh, all the others have seven. Uh, the Nova, the Nova is very interesting. When, when we take a look at the Nova, that's it's the one that is most shows off the differences between the manufacturers. Um, the Nova's interior is significantly different. The Deimos, what does the Deimos have? Deimos is most expensive, but then a lot of that has to do with the bridge. I decided to use this bridge. I could have used a cheaper cockpit. Um, I would have had to do the design a bit differently. Uh, I decided I wanted to use this. I think this really demonstrates sort of the, the Deimos manufacturer uh, well. Uh, I don't think the fact that it's significantly more expensive than the others should really be held against it because I think that was based on decisions I made, not necessarily the manufacturer, just that much more expensive. It does have the highest cargo capacity at 450. Stroud has the highest reactor. It's the only one that had a reactor that would do 39. All the others do 35. So the Stroud does have more power. It also has slightly more fuel. 150. I think all the others have 140. Let's start with the Hope Tech. It feels like a Hope Tech ship. Got that Hope Tech landing gear, the Overseer Bridge. I like the front mounted um, docking hatch for particularly for piracy operations, things like that. In the interior, we've got our control stations. Bridge up top. I do like this this cockpit. It is um, there's a lot to like about it. And then of course the front mounted uh, docking hatch. On this side we've got our infirmary, and down here we've got our beds, galley. Bathroom. Huh. Got our 
workshop and we've got a computer core down here uh, this isn't strictly necessary this adds uh, one more uh, crew capacity to make it seven to match the others it's got a lot of storage in here a lot of storage so um, it fits well in the design so I I think it I think it's appropriate to put it there. Value 258,870. That's pretty much in line. The cheapest one is 250. So it's a bit low on hull. But I think it represents Hope Duck well. Now for the Stroud, done a lot of work with Stroud lately, so no real surprises here. Does have the uh, the best reactor. I don't like this side entry, but that's a Stroud thing. Enter in, we've got our bathroom, we've got our beds, we've got our cooking area. Control stations, cockpit, docking hatch. This side we have the infirmary. This side the workshop. Everything pretty predictable. Value 258, 320, and pretty much in line with everything else. Mass 506. Best reactor, good hull, slightly more fuel. Deimos. There are a lot of things to like about the Deimos designs. I really like that bridge. Um, the design kind of required me to put this as a back entry. I don't like that, but it really was a lot better than anything else I was coming up with. So it is what it is. into the workshop, docking hatch up top, nice bridge, definitely think this one's worth the expense. This side we have the infirmary, and our all-in-one, the beds, 
bathroom cooking. Now the Nova, and this is where you really see the difference between the manufacturers. Nova is by far the best manufacturer. Alright, we enter in, we've got a control station, and we're in to the Cabot Bridge. Everybody loves the Cabot, there's good reasons. Very nice. And then none of the other fighters have anything like this. Wow. Pool table, views, beds over there, bathroom. Yep, workout, storage. Everything's nice. Over here we got computer core, lots more storage. Down here, the infirmary. This is actually the access to the top hatch, even though the hatch is two levels up, you actually have to access it from here because of the way it's designed, which is odd. More storage, workshop. And this actually has a circular layout. So you can actually go around. And none of the others have anything like that. Multiple paths. I mean, none of the other manufacturers even come close. I, I could make a less expensive, simpler fighter using Nova stuff. But I could make this one with all this at the same price. 254,000 so it's less than two of the other, or it's less than three of the other. This is actually the second least expensive one and it has by far the most in it. It is the most spacious interior. It matches stats on everything else. Shows that why Nova is, is such a great manufacturer. It, really sucks that like lore wise they're supposed to be out of business because they really made the best stuff All right, and finally, the Tayo. Well, it certainly looks like a Tayo. It is the least expensive of the ships this time, uh, despite being the most expensive of the drones. It's got the nice front entry. Into the living area, we got our cooking area, we got our beds, we got our bathroom, and we got the control.
Control stations, docking hatch, cockpit. Infirmary. Workshop. I gotta say the Tayo is not my favorite manufacturer. Um, can I understand why the ships are supposed to be so popular? They are useful in specific circumstances, like using their um, their top A or bottom A modules in order to control where the side doors are. That's useful. But none of their interiors are my favorite for anything, really. Um, except the captain's quarters, I guess. Captain's quarters I really like. But it's just the Hope Tech one um, with brighter colors. Uh, 250 650 for the price, mass 496. Um, again, one less crew than the others, but does that really matter? <laughs>